Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Forbes Flash. Thanks for joining us. This week we hosted our sixth annual Forbes Women's Summit in New York City, with over 300 attendees from five different continents. The event brought to the stage women from a wide variety of industries who shared inspiring stories and actionable advice that anyone could learn from. So I'm gonna share some highlights here. She's not a billionaire yet, but Martine Rothblatt has plenty of billion dollar ideas. The founder and CEO of United Therapeutics is constantly innovating. Right now, they're experimenting with pig cloning and genetic modification to create organ transplants that the body doesn't reject. It's a pretty major goal, but as Rothblatt said on stage, she prefers to convert a moonshot into an earth shot, and she doesn't mind making mistakes along the way. Quote, the person that makes no mistakes is making the biggest mistake because they're just standing still and doing nothing. Obviously, this week has been a politically charged one, and Ariana Huffington isn't shying away from talking about it. Quote, living in a perpetual cycle of outrage affects people in a very profound way, she says. So, as founder and CEO of Thrive Global, she's working to help people channel those feelings in effective and productive ways. Since she's been both a political commentator and candidate, she has firsthand experience weathering political frustration. Watch her full interview on Forbes.com to find out how to respond to this week's political uproar. And now, some of the highlights from panels that you'll want to catch up on. She's come a long way since her Spice Girl days, but Victoria Beckham is still all about girl power. The creative director of her eponymous fashion brand spoke about building a $130 million company from just an idea. She knew what people would think about her starting out in the fashion industry. She said, quote, but I didn't focus on that, and the clothes spoke for themselves. Beckham spoke about her hope that her clothing helps women find confidence and her desire to keep building. A skincare line is next up, and many more projects after that. U.S. Secretary of Transportation Elaine Chao kicked off the summit with a conversation about her groundbreaking political career and advice for young women. Chao is the first Asian American woman to hold a presidential cabinet position. She now oversees a $76 billion budget and 55,000 personnel. Her career has always come first, and she urged the audience to be aware of the impact of their decisions further in the future. Quote, it's important whatever choices you make that you know the trade-offs when you're making them. Another panel at the summit discussed the repercussions of Me Too on a variety of industries, namely Hollywood and Silicon Valley. For Kirsten Green, founder and managing director at Forerunner Ventures, working together with other women just made sense. After all, women make up only 7% of general partners at VC firms. For her fellow panelist, screenwriter Olivia Milch, an important step in turning a movement into action can be simple. Say what you want out loud and write a letter, she says. When PepsiCo CEO Indra Nooyi and actress Priyanka Chopra took the stage at the end of the day, the audience probably couldn't have predicted the wide-ranging topics that the women would cover. In their conversation with Moira Forbes, the women spoke about navigating careers in the U.S. after growing up in India, feminism, and even sex in the city. Both women have massive followings, Chopra's through her work in Bollywood and Hollywood, and Nooyi's in Pepsi consumers, and both are focused on supporting the lives and careers of women around the globe. Said Chopra, how I want to be perceived will be my choice. How you perceive me is how I will show you what I want to be. Since joining Nest in 2010, Yoki Matsuoka has helped consumers save about 10% on their electricity and gas bills. As the CTO of the smart home device company, Matsuoka's mission is to use the devices already in people's homes to care for them better. For example, Nest's cameras, which are designed for indoor and outdoor security, are often used for baby care instead. The company is also working on an initiative to help lower income households manage their energy usage. In partnership with energy companies, housing agencies, and other nonprofit organizations, the company has promised to install one million of its thermostats in homes that need them most over the next five years. Thanks for joining us. Tweet your feedback using hashtag Forbes slash, and we'll see you next week. Tune in every Friday morning, same time, same place.